Hello and welcome again, everybody, for the closing session of this uh, first live global summit by Legal Creatives. Um, it is uh, absolutely an, a pleasure to, to be a host for this event uh, with my um, colleague and good friend, Ali Esmaheli, that some of you might have seen on uh, some of the sessions. I want to thank Ali for his time and commitment towards making this live event work uh, smoothly. Um, this session is really a, a wrap up of uh, what we saw today and also uh, a, a more uh, in-depth presentation of how uh, the legal creative platform and network can be uh, at your service in order to uh, help you, um, uh, uh, to empower you to, um, to improve the legal experience and to deliver better access to justice uh, wherever you are located in the world. So I will, uh, without further ado, uh, share my screen with you in order to uh, present uh, a few slides about the legal creatives. And feel free to ask questions in the YouTube channel which I have uh, right behind me. So I will just share my screen, it's coming up. Okay, so here we are. So just a few words to close this uh, live event. We've had um, almost all of the speakers showed up. The technology was not uh, perfect every time, but I think we made it work. So thank you for your patience. Uh, all of the video will be uh, replayed for you to see. But now let's talk about how you can use Legal Creative and how Legal Creative can support you as a lawyer, as a law student, or whether you work at a law firm. Uh, with Legal Creative, building an innovative legal career just got easier. There are two problems that we are uh, targeting with Legal Creative. And the first is very obvious to all of you who are on the live and all of you who are, will be watching the replays, we have a huge access to justice problem in many jurisdictions around the world. In the United States, we see that, uh, as I mentioned in one of the previous sessions uh, with Paolo Maculotti, uh, we have 100 million individuals seeking legal answers, and yet 8 out of 10 is not met by the legal professionals. And at the same time, we have almost one young lawyer out of two who doesn't have an employment, who doesn't have a job, who does not use his, his or her license in order to serve people solving their legal issues. So that's the first problem we are hoping to, uh, to I mean, we're not going to solve this alone. So this is why we, we are creating this community so we can all contribute to solving this problem, which is not just a problem in the USA, but in Canada, in France and in many other jurisdictions. The second problem that we see, second opportunity, which is a challenge as well, is the integration of technology, AI, blockchain, into the legal world. Uh, we all understand that the practice of lawyers and the legal field in general is changing every minute, as someone said in the Slack community. Uh, Jose said, lawyers need to change every minute it's changing and the we, we must open our minds and find most innovative approaches in order to leverage technology and identify new models to deliver uh, services legal services so the legal creative offers for everyone who's interested um, an opportunity to exchange through a platform and a network so the objective is to empower you to enhance the legal experience and to deliver better access to justice through creativity. So this is why we are hosting live events such as the one you've been attending today for you to gain insights uh, as to uh, the challenges and the opportunities, uh, whether it's an online event like today or whether it's in-person meetups, which uh, we will be happy to organize in uh, different cities around the world. Um, also, it's an opportunity for you to uh, learn new ideas which are worthy of sharing, such as the ideas that you have taken from the presentations you've heard. Um, maybe the, what, are you take, what is your takeaway from this presentation, from all of the live streams you've been listening to? How can you use them in order to stand out and break through 
this very competitive market, which might not be so competitive given we have so much legal issues to be solved. And it's an opportunity for you to connect globally using this platform for all legal creatives and innovators. So how we deliver this vision is about creating events which are conducive to idea generation. We want to shake things up. We want to make you think differently and we mostly want to leave you inspired. Uh, you've heard Charlie Garland who opened this global live event with a very insightful methodology for creative negotiation. And this creative negotiation derives from the creative problem solving methodology, um, which is a proven method for approaching challenges in a very imaginative way to find new solutions. So Legal Creative is at the moment discussing different partnerships uh, in order to um, bring this creative problem solving solution to the legal community uh, with people like professionals like Charlie and institutions like the Creative Education Foundation who has been doing that for more than 60 years already. And also we uh, offer trainings, trainings for you to uh, develop creative lawyering for the legal future. Um, and with very uh, small format training designed to maximize re your results and to create value for your clients. Because at the end of the day, we all understood from those conferences that clients want value, value for their money and for their time. And other industries managed to leverage technology to do that, managed to change and update the business model. Now is the time for the legal industry to do that. So how, what are the competitive advantages of this platform and network for you? It's probably the fastest innovation path given uh, this creative methodology will be available for you in order to train yourself and to use it and implement it in your practice. Uh, we have the vision to make you a legal creative and innovator to stand out and break through the competition to open blue oceans uh, to stand out from the competition. This platform, this network is accessible globally around the world in order to share and to grow faster. Uh, because we are online, it's much more cost efficient and all of the trainings are designed to be CLE accredited and very simple to use, as Emily said, using legal design to make it very simple for you to, to access this knowledge. So again, the ABA Commission on the Future of Legal Services just, uh, just issued a report which followed the one that was issued first in Canada in 2013, and then there was one in France that was released in last year as well. Uh, we need bold action, we need bold innovation. We can achieve universal access to justice. It is within our reach if we work together. Uh, let's work together using this platform and this network to um, share, to support each other, and to celebrate the successes. So you may want to join the team of ambassadors. We have many ambassadors around the world. Um, I founded the Legal Creatives this summer. Uh, I am based in Montreal, Canada. We have Robert Wackelod, who is a lawyer based in Toronto. He is working at the Social Innovation Center, helping legal uh, legal uh, um, tech entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs uh, with their legal needs, using also creative problem solving a lot. Uh, we have Marisa and Paula, which you have seen on the live earlier today, uh, based in uh, the Portugal and the Netherlands. Amelie, who um, actually couldn't join today uh, for a presentation, but uh, very active in the comments and questions. Amelie is a legal tech innovator in Paris, France. And we have Paolo, who you've seen as well on the live, based in Norway. And this could be you. If you have ideas, if you want to join the team, uh, you, this could be you. Uh, feel free to uh, make a comment in the Slack group. So how are we going to expand this initiative? Uh, well, we, if we want to make meaningful changes, we need to uh, collectively share, but we also need to spread the news, spread the news to local bar associations, to law universities, and to uh, organizations that are CLE accredited in order to uh, not just discuss within us, but really start lobbying for uh, innovation, legal innovation. Um, I, mean, I have to say that my experience 
in Lisbon at the Web Summit was a, a, a big wake-up call when I saw everything that was happening in technology. Uh, uh, we, we had an announcement there that, for instance, Uber is partnering with NASA to fly taxis in Los Angeles next year. So we are flying taxis next year, but the legal world is still behind, uh, stuck in a world full of paper, full of lengthy procedures, uh, and very, very inaccessible um, to, to many users. So um, if you think the time is right, then uh, uh, that will be the next step for us as a community to approach those local bar associations, universities, and uh, organizations to uh, host events, uh, trainings, and everything. So yeah, as I said, we were the Web Summit. We were selected for the incredible potential for impact and growth. We have been integrated in the network of 60,000 companies, entrepreneurs, investors, and legal innovators worldwide. So we would like to continue uh, the, keep the momentum and uh, make sure that we leverage this opportunity, not just for us, but for everyone who is interested in building and designing a new future for uh, legal professionals and the legal uh, industry as a whole. If you want to take action today, visit legalcreatives.com. Uh, you can join in the Slack community uh, by clicking connect and you will see uh, the call to action to connect inside the community. You will, be, uh, available, you will be able to continue hearing about the next events online and in person, all events designed to inspire you, uh, make you think differently. You will be able to uh, share innovative ideas from across the world and join a global network to, to support, share, and celebrate. Um, as we, we've had a lot of extremely good feedback from the Montreal community, saying that it brings a truly innovative approach to law and a way of conceiving the legal world. So let's continue doing this great work all together. Uh, and those are my contact details. If you want to connect with me, uh, feel free to send an email. Uh, I might just, as an end note, uh, share with you the um, link so you can um you can uh i see brandon is making comments uh thank you so much yeah let's bring the 80 percent down to eight percent i totally agree with that uh thank you so much for the comment brandon and uh here you click connect in the legal creative website we are onboarding all legal professionals into the digital world the online community is here you can join for free uh, by just entering your email address and you will be receiving a Slack invitation a few minutes after that. Make sure to accept the invitation and to log in straight away so you can continue interacting with other participants and also presenters. Uh, and if you're interested also in the, how you can also onboard in the digital with your client, this is the digital platform that we are building now as a first technological project, which I, I hope is not going to be uh, the only one. And I hope you will be inspired too to take action and to start legal tech uh, based on all of the great discussions and presentations we've heard today. And this is the low click website where you uh, can start uh, scrolling the content in order to uh, learn about this initiative and how you can onboard in the digital to interact differently with potential clients. Um, any further um, comments or questions? Feel Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Any questions or comments? Uh, I will be uh, more than happy to to um, answer them now. Um, and if uh, while I'm waiting for you to put your comments in the Facebook, in the live, in the YouTube live, 
Um, I want to thank uh, warmly all of the presenters we've had today. Charlie Garland from New York, from the Innovation Outlet about e-negotiation, creative problem solving for negotiation. We also had Marisa Montero, both boom, and Paula Silva Lopez, who talked about the experience of the Web Summit and law in the legal world, uh, law in the tech world. Uh, we've had Paolo and myself having a session on how can we make access to technology easier for young lawyers and mediators to kickstart their career. Elvis Braovic, I believe, had a chance to talk about mindfulness the power of mindfulness in this tech world. Also, Lia talks live from Hungary, Budapest, about the future of legal service, how not to make another Kodak story, and this time in the legal industry. Julie Ostro from Chicago, an improv, uh, improviser and humorous speaker. She talked about listening to learn. And then we had Emily at the same time, live streaming from Paris about UX design. And Pierre, finally, who closed uh, the entire live event with a very, very interesting uh, platform which is accessible to everyone who wants to start legal tech. So, um, without further ado, um, I would just want to ask you now, what are you going to do with all of those presentations? So, so now, what are you going to be doing uh, with this community? And uh, what do you want to take away and how do you want to contribute? What are your expectations? Uh, what can you bring to the community? Um, please, please do not hesitate to join the online community and to be active by sharing content, sharing what you do, who you are, where you come from, and what do you want to gain from this community so we can make sure to connect you with the right person. And uh, we can also learn from you from your experiences, whether they are good or not so good, but also worthy of learning. And uh, same for myself and my colleagues uh, who helped me put up this event and for all of the presenters, uh, let's start sharing more in order for us to grow, uh, to grow faster and, to fa and together to, to go beyond what we think is possible. Uh, thank you so much, all of the live viewers, for being here. It was my pleasure. I want to thank again my co-host, Ali Esmaheli, who helped me tremendously from Vancouver, British Columbia, on the other side of uh, Canada, putting up this event, uh, helping me with the technology. Um, and there are many other people that I want to thank, all of the speakers, the presenters, all of the other people who are supporters, followers, uh, encouragers, thank you so much for your continuous support and let's uh, continue this uh, conversation in the Slack community. So click connect right now into the Legal Creatives website. Thank you so much, Brandon. Uh, let's develop an innovative legal career. Thanks for the inspiration. Thank you, Brandon, for uh, being so engaged and active in the live stream. Uh, now, let's continue inside the community. I look forward to seeing you there and to getting to know you. Take care. Bye-bye.